Hey guys, Doc's back. Um, sorry I've been around in a while. I've been doing other stuff, I don't know. Uh, my, this video should be my number one greatest album opener, but alas, it isn't. And the reason for that is I filmed it once, I didn't like it, and I just haven't filmed it again. Uh, I got busy doing other stuff, but I'm glad to be doing this again. I'm already having fun, this is my fourth take. So let's do this. Mm. Okay, so what has kept me busy? It's been, yeah, like I said, it's been a month. Uh, what could possibly keep me away from my viewers? Um, so this is this is it, all it mixed between relevant and irrelevant stuff. Uh, first of all, check out the pad behind me. I'm rooming in Melbourne now. Um, got a roommate. He's pretty chill. I'll talk about him some other time. Um, just moved in two weeks ago. Uh, second thing on the list, uh, before I moved in, I got a speeding ticket, ugh, my second one was going, I was actually going 22 over, it was a, I was going 77 and a 55, but this woman wrote me up, wrote me up for a 64 and a 55, um, very, very kind of her, um, so now, now I only owe a hundred and, hundred and twenty dollars compared to 261, so it's nearly, you know, it's well over half the price, so cheers to her. Um, second of all, I got a new favorite brewery. Uh, I've never had a favorite brewery, but when I had this, these beers, um, there, it's a brewery called Cigar City, I think it's called, and there, it's beer brewed it from Tampa, Florida, and it is phenomenal. I've had, I've only had three of their brews, I don't know if they have any more. Uh, I, tr I tried them from, tried two of them from Mellow Mushroom. I had their IPA, which, you know, I don't know if you're into IPAs, but to me, IPAs and IPA, if you just want your face to get punched, and, you know, <laughs> by, a, by a very bitter beer, then, then you're going to drink an IPA. Um, and then the other beer, though, that I had when I went to Mellow Mushroom was, was uh, an espresso beer. I don't know what it was, I don't know if it was hop or wheat. I'm like the worst beer fan ever because I don't know if I'm drinking wheat beers or hoppy beers or... I, I really don't know the difference. I just know what I drink and what I like. So I just remember the names and that's what I get. So uh, this espresso beer though, holy shit, this is good. It actually tasted like like a nice thick coffee, and um, it had a had a you know had the underlying beer flavor, but the coffee flavor was mm, it was excellent though. And the other one that I had was this. It was called oatmeal wheat beer, I think, and that was ooh, that was delicious. I got it from World of Beer in Vero Beach, and they, they probably have them at other World of Beers and stuff. I think World of Beer is a fan franchise kind of thing. Um, if you, wherever you are, if you get a chance to try Cigar City beer, they're uh, they're insane. Um, but yeah, this this uh, that wheat beer that I had, the the oatmeal beer was had like a chocolate flavor, and it was done right. Like I'm not into this whole sweet thing. Uh, I had the Purple Haze the other day for the first time. Uh, draft. And it was, it was raspberry, and I wasn't too big on it. It was still good, though. Don't get me wrong. But uh, this right here that I'm drinking is Hefeweizen UFO. It's good. I mean, I don't know. Uh, other thing on the list is that I'm going to see Party Pine Tree in September uh, at Radio City Music Hall. Fucking yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what happens when I, when you get out of school and you're finally making money at 22 is you just up and decide one Thursday morning on your way to work from Orlando in an hour long drive while you're listening to Signify you say to yourself oh man I wish I was going to Radio City Music Hall and then it's like holy shit I can go see Party of My Trade Radio City Music Hall so uh, that's going to be a, a one of the best shows I've ever had um, probably yeah probably be one of the best ones ever up until at least next April when I go see Marillion. Say what? Go to Marillion Weekend in Canada. It'll be my first time going out of the country, so I'm really excited. As of right now, I'm going by myself, which is pretty lame, but uh, I've, I, by that time, I've already done the math. Like By that time, I'll have like a week's worth of vacation, and it's going to be freaking awesome. I'm going to save up, save all the way up till then, and just kick it in Montreal. I'll just try and walk around, digest what it's like. I mean, you know, it's a city. I'm sure it's probably not that much different than any other big city, but it'll be, it'll be freaking Canada. It's going to be like, oh, excuse me, 50 degrees or something uh, in April, which in Florida, it's like, 
you know, 70 something, 80 something, I don't know. It's always freaking hot here. But it'll be nice to be in a different city and I'm pretty sure it's a French, French speaking city. So right now I'm trying to, uh, that's the other thing on my mind too, is I want to get on to learning some French. Uh, I got, you know, I've got a few months, so I want to be able to at least carry a somewhat conversation. I learned French very basically in high school, but I didn't stick. Of course, I didn't care then, but now I do. So, the other thing on my mind is that I am thinking about doing a radio show. Um, I haven't. I ha I've done one small segment, and it's a, it's kind of a rough demo. I haven't edited it. I haven't worked on it in a while. Um, but it's it's going to be pretty cool, I think. And the, it might come into some copyright issues. So if it does come up, try and check it out fast because I'll probably have some record labels down my neck telling me to fuck off. But Say la vie, we'll deal with that when that road passes. Other thing, blueberries and the Cheerios, you can't beat it. If you haven't gone to the store in a while um, to get fresh fruit, then uh, do it now, please, because blueberries are like freaking $2 or $1.50 a pint, and you just take these bad boys, you get a handful, um, I was going to get a handful, but screw it, uh, you get a handful, you just freaking rinse them out in the sink, you pour your Cheerios, you get your Fiber One in there, you sprinkle the blueberries on top. Um, oh. uh, the other thing too is that when you're eating blueberries with cereal, is you gotta pop them, you gotta pop them on your front teeth. That's the only way you get the juice, you get all the flavor. You pop them on the front and then the juice runs back down the tongue. It makes perfect sense, trust me. <laughs> um, I, I discovered this as I was eating it for a while. I, was, I had th my third bowl. Um, I, I was eating it and I was like, I'm not really tasting any blueberry. And I was like, I bet that's what it is. So I popped on the front. Totally different experience. Uh, I'm pretty sure strawberries are doing pretty good right now. Uh, peaches. I just had a watermelon today. It was excellent. Uh, I've got bananas propping up my camera right now that I'm going to have. You know, hopefully they'll be ripe tomorrow afternoon. Uh, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> um, other than that, um, yeah, I covered... Uh, oh, yeah, I went to see... Um, uh, wrestling the other night, my first ever wrestling event. Uh, it was in Universal Studios, it was TNA, um, Victory Road, and I don't know, probably nobody else follows uh, wrestling. I don't really follow it that much either, but uh, there was a really great storyline that came out with this wrestler, Jay Lethal, and you might have, you probably heard of Ric Flair for nothing more than his domestic violence issues at home and his children ending up in jail or whatever. Um, but it was a it was a storyline between them where this Jay Lethal guy was mocking Ric Flair and Ric Flair has been known forever and he does the woo you know and he has the he has the strut and then he pokes people's eyes he's just the dirtiest player in the game so it was a great storyline that culminated to Sunday night where they they it was a pay per view event and it was so much fun um, my friends and I we, uh, my friends and I my friends and I we wore shirts. That said, that said woo across. So I was the W O, and then um, two of us were O's, and then the last one was O O exclamation. So uh, as we stood together, it said woo, and uh, we had the bandana on. And the other thing was Fortune Faction. I won't get into that. But um, <laughs> but anyway, we weren't going to get in. It was ridiculous because it's actually free to get in. But the whole thing is, is that you have to get there early. And there's actually reservations you can put online and stuff. I didn't know about any of this. And we show up at the thing and we're waiting in the one line to get in. We're like, oh, we're never going to get in. We got there like two hours early, two hours before doors open. And then door, uh, the show started an hour after the doors open. And we got there early and we're like, oh, we're never going to get in, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden this big ripped dude with this wearing this yellow shirt and he's got this hair is all bleached and shit. It's kind of long. It's he's got the whole wrestling tough guy hard ass look going on, and he comes over and he hands us four tickets to get into the to get into the reserved line, and we're like, holy shit, this is awesome. We're gonna get in because um, we also made signs too. We had the signs, we had the shirts, we had the bandanas. It was freaking awesome. Uh, I haven't had a chance to download the pay per view yet. Got to watch that to see if we're on there making asses of ourselves because it was a ton of fun. I mean, we haven't been to a wrestling event. It's it's, it's bar none, one of the coolest things ever. There's nothing else like it. Because you, everyone knows that it's fake. All right? Nobody's pulling punches on that. But, um, oh, fuck. I only had 10 seconds. Okay. Um, so, speeding, blueberries, Cigar City beer, Melbourne, work, the top favorite opener coming next time. Bye.